Hi, welcome back. Good morning, late morning. Got a late start today. Had to do some stuff around the house, but I'm out here now and I'm hoping to do some upgrading since I have my five fish limit, but it's a small limit for the KBF State Challenge. So that's my goal is to upgrade with some big fish, kick out those little fish. Um, today's kind of windy. It's blowing in a rain in a couple hours. So it's gusting up to about 13 mile per hour. But the good news is, is it's kind of blowing right down the lake. So I'm gonna paddle up the lake and set up a drift and throw different things around. Um, right now to start, I have my KVD 3XD in bluegill. I have my jackhammer evergreen chatterbait. Um, this one's like a little bit darker with the Kitech Paddle tail trailer. I have a lipless crankbait. Where'd it go? <laughs> I have a lipless crankbait. This is a Strike King Red Eye Shad. It's a chrome sexy shad, I believe. And lastly, I have a spinnerbait because I was thinking with the grass on this lake and how fast the wind's going to be blowing me, spinnerbait might be able to be something I can fish. I um, was also thinking about maybe tossing around a walk in the dog kind of topwater but we will see. I have big worms I can drag. I have jigs I can drag. So I think I'm gonna do okay with this and let's go see what we can get. Oh, it's a stick. I totally fought that stick back to the boat though. Did you see that? If I can get a good bite going on this uh, 3XD, I'll switch it over to my chatterbait rod. Um, I definitely this year have gotten comfortable with the bait caster to the point where I would rather throw this on a bait caster right now. But since I only carry four rods with me, I usually have the two spinning and the two bait caster. So right now I have my lipless crankbait and my chatterbait on my bait caster rods. So. Whichever bite wins out gets the bait casters. It's pretty cool that just about two years ago, I refused to throw a bait caster because I didn't want to give up my hard won accuracy with the spinning reel by starting all over with trying to learn to throw something else. But I put in the time and I practiced, and now I actually prefer the bait caster over the spinning reel for any kind of like moving bait. me backwards into the shallow cove. I'm using it as an opportunity to throw the 3XD out into the deeper water and bring it back with the wind direction. So let's say the wind could be pushing some shad into this cove. The 3XD just looks like a little shad kind of getting pushed along with the wind. Easy prey, easy meal. Hope we get an opportunity feeder there. So I'm going to throw that around in this deeper part out here, hit the deeper part of the point at the mouth of the cove, and then once I get in a little more shallow, I'm going to switch to the 1.5 square bill, um, which runs a little uh, less deep and is really good with the wood that's in the water back here. I don't know why that's going off right now. That's kind of freaking me out. I see nothing on the radar, like nothing until the storm gets here later today. Huh. There's a line coming through at like 4.30 today and a little bit of rain at 2, but it's only noon and I don't see anything on the radar. I don't know what that's going on about. Oh, is it their test? Is it like the first day of the month thing? Huh noon on the first day yeah okay so that was just a test that was weird where i live in cincinnati it's the first wednesday of the month at noon guess it's not universal that seems like that should be universal
tree. So I'm switching from the black and blue chatterbait to a white and chartreuse one with a little bit more of an opaque pale trailer. Um, still the Kitech Easy Shiner 4 inch. So hopefully this will get some shad action attention going on. I don't know, they didn't want the black and blue one. today well unfortunately I have to wrap it up that's all the time I have there's a big storm that's almost here it's a big orange and red and green blob and I just want to have my kayak on the car and be moving before that thing hits I don't mind fishing in the rain but I try to avoid the red blobs so unfortunately no fish for me today well no keeper fish I caught that one little guy but I was really hoping for a big upgrade fish or a couple big upgrade fish and didn't get that. I just want to say thanks so much to everyone who has liked and commented on my videos or subscribed to my Girl Gone Fishing channel. Um, this has really grown beyond what I ever thought it would and I really appreciate that you guys would want to follow along on my crazy and sometimes bumbling uh, kayak fishing adventures. I have learned so much over the last couple of years. Um, I've learned a lot through the comments on the videos and from connecting with some of you guys. It has just been a crazy adventure and I really appreciate you guys coming along with me. Um, I'm looking forward to maybe trying some different kinds of videos instead of just sitting in the kayak and fishing. Um, maybe some challenge kind of videos, maybe collabs with other people. I don't know, um, just things to think about in the future. But thank you guys so much. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to Girl Gone Fishing, all one word. And I will subscribe back to your channel if you do. So I'm heading out now and I will see you next weekend out on the water.